morning. I'm just grabbing me a fresh off the pot. Whatever you call this thing. I call it the pot of sweet tea. It ain't the greatest. But when that thing goes cold and it goes in my refrigerator, it goes out the best. Today, we are actually going to go pick up duct tape. Duct tape is finished. She is ready to go. And um, it's going to be a gangster, I think, y'all. Today, I'll have Fallout joining me today. He is actually going to be my little associate today. Now, I'm yeah. going to put this freshly cup I made but, well, right here. Because we do not need to take that with me. Because if I take it with me, it won't be coming back inside the house. Go and lock the door up, y'all. But, and also, y'all, today is going to be m more of a information video showing you what I own and everything like that. Or what I use. So... First, we'll go ahead and we won't get this out the way real quick. We'll get what's in the shed. In the shed, we have the gray trailer with the 03 VP race and then strip, strip of glitter on the back. That trailer, the one that had the 450 and a few thumbnails back. I think it was on the first video I made here back in the new state, I think. But right here, we have a 2018 Mega Cab of uh, Longhorn Edition. She, uh, she a little built, you know, I can't keep anything stock. Uh, Hold on, y'all. The, the, these uh, these comments here, they give you hood problems. So this is when you just kind of go in here and you just type this thing out. Well, you get that thing right there. Yeah, she a little built, y'all. She got some power. And I do have a regular bumper for it, but I, it just kills me to take the ranch hand off, y'all. just kills me if I take the ranch hand off. So leave in the comments if you think I should take the ranch hand off or leave it on. I'm really not sure. But right here, this is Fallout's little setup. He just, he actually just finished a job with me because he does work here, with me here and there. So we kind of pushed the limits of the trailers here because this truck probably shouldn't be pulling this trailer with what we had on it. We had a something where you should be on there. It's called a, uh, a little bulldozer. Probably yeah, be behind I'm tired something of you pushing like this. my trucks, but baby and yours. It should it, it should be behind something like that, which is actually the yeah. new. The new rig we bought for the stacker and like more of the big trailers we got here for the race team and I can use it for work. But it'll mostly be for racing y'all because it's too nice. It's a little Peterbilt. It's got four doors. It's got actually, with the, since it's being a four door, it has a little bed spot back here. It's got a little comfy range. Let's open the door real quick. It's got the little entertainment back here and everything. The captain chairs all four row back and then you got the bench seat in the back. Oh, the door did not work up. There we go. We were debating on this and a toter, and a toter would have been really nice, y'all, but this thing, I can get in the driveway. As you see, you do not see my stacker. You don't even see my bumperful stacker. Where are those at, Fallout? But you fit over that dumb bridge over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that means if they're not here, they're at the other shop, y'all. The construction shop is what I call it, because it's the workshop. That's also where a lot of the vehicles that are not here are at, because I like to keep the house clean. Right here, I have my little uh, godly, I bought this as like a Savage Toddle. I think it's a 2016 Malibu, right? Yeah, you, know you debadged it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yes, just call it a Malibu for now. I know it's a Malibu, I know that part. It's more of like my little streetcar takeover thing, like do burnouts in the middle of the intersection, everything like that. Right here we have my 2020 F450 Lariat Edition with a King with a King Ranch uh, tailgate because I broke my stock tailgate. So and maybe I you should put, put it up. down when you pull away from a gooseneck. Oh yeah, you say it happens when you get in a rush. I was gonna put a King Ranch interior in this, and it still might happen. I just can't find one cheap enough. But behind I it, I might we... have a wrecked one, a wrecked okay. F250 Sweet. King Ranch. I'm not sure though. We'll figure it out. Behind it is the race, my race trailer, really. I don't really let like, no one get this one. Because this one only fits, like, really one car and a golf cart. It's, uh, my, tr my 2023, it ain't the 24 model, y'all, sadly. The stacker's the 24 model, though. This is the 23, this is, like, the last 23 they made. It is a 53-foot living quarters in the front. It's got a little bathroom in here, too. And in the back, it has, oh, let's get on get down here. We did go ahead and put some new wheels on it, and we got the stickers on the outside, light bars, awnings, 
Uh, can I walk in the door? Jesus Christ. Oh, those stairs okay. are nice. Oh yeah, I had to get I had to get rid of them uh, other ones, dude. They they wasn't weight ready. We're going through the back door, y'all, because I couldn't get in. We got my nitrous bottles here for ready to be uh, all filled up, ready for a race, because I like to show up with no empty no bottles, so we keep bottles in here now. And we have pictures of duct tape with the engine tore out when he decided to hit a barrier. We got duct tape when it was about to be wrecked. That is actually at the 10 foot mark, so about 650 feet later, it got crash into that cone that's sitting right there right there we have warrior we have running warrior we have warrior that's a little tore up but i have decided with warrior we have dug it out of the bushes i've took it to a chassis shop and we're gonna let colt drive it we're gonna redo everything basically we're gonna have a whole new chassis built for it it's still gonna be a frame car because the frame wasn't too bent it was a little bit but we're just gonna make re uh rebars in the back and front tube Right here we have just random pictures, Fairmont, a little group picture, side hustle. I do miss her y'all, but she's still at the chassis shop getting rebuilt. It's actually, in a few months will be a year, she's been officially gone. I know that we're uh, supposed to... Oh, what's up? Just going back to duct tape, Um, would you rather it in the jersey barrier or in the water? Which is easier to redo? I mean, technically the coal car is new technically right now. But you kind of wanted to save the engine just in case, so if I put it in the water, engine go bye-bye. <laughs> oh, right here, y'all. <laughs> Jesus. Right here, y'all, is basically the same thing as this thing. This is just a 24 model. It has a box on the front. It has a box on the... Uh, well, a little bit. Story with this, actually. The guy said, like, I was like, hey, looking for a tra bumper pool trailer for my team. He texts me about this, has a box in front, bumper pull, basically any truck can pull it is my thing I like about this. Even a car can pull it. My Fairmont can probably pull it. It might struggle big time though. This is basically the same setup. The only difference on this one is it doesn't have the beds in front. It has just a or couch or, and an air mattress that folds out. It has a little kitchen area. Bathroom, same thing like that. And what I like about this one that the other one doesn't have this one has the ramp, so you can make transmission changes, gear changes, whatever you got to change underneath the car. You can just pull it up here and work on it. Has nitrous bottles. This has a nice little seat there. Nice little seat. And we have a little rusted car here, y'all. Moving into the shop. We need to hurry up so we can get to the truck shop and show off that. We have the C10, which is more of the show truck. We have Bad Apple, which is... Fixed out. Actually, just got the motor soon back in her, and she's back to running. We threw a new body on it, basically. Yeah, it's it's really nice now. I like it. It's hopefully it makes it farther than one race this time. And right here we have the Fairmont coming here for a little service because I like to do a little drag and drives with her a little bit here and there. She's more of the street car thing. Took the receiver off for well, the receiver off the uh no the hitch off the receiver. We're gonna hop in the Peterbilt, and we're probably what trailer are we gonna take actually? Hmm. We'll take this one. Oh, we gotta take this one because the a new. Uh, you getting in the truck flop? Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna drive my truck, but okay. Oh, why why I get back? Why I get back out the truck? Get, put me in the truck, Jesus Christ. Well, why? Yeah, I thought you wanted me to bring my get trailer. Get in the truck. There we go. But, uh, I'm gonna hook up to the diamond. Oh, I actually didn't show this trailer over here. This is my dovetail trailer, y'all. We're actually gonna go pick up two things today. I, I wasn't gonna be honest, but I'm gonna be honest now. So, we're gonna go ahead and hit the road, and we'll catch you at the construction shop. So, see you there. About 30 minutes later, because that's how far the construction shop is from the house. It's not the closest thing, but it's construction shop. Who wants to be close to where they actually gotta work at? We're actually pulling up to it now. Right now the truck is stuck in second gear because um, I wasn't going to shift it. We're going to pull in here. The lean tube is empty, as y'all can see. But, let's go ahead, take a look at everything, and we'll go pick up duct tape and the other new vehicle. So right here is a K K30, correct? Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, nice. I don't know, square body. 
No, it's a Sierra. Well, it's this truck. Sorry, don't get mad at me. I don't know these trucks like that. That's this more of a YB thing, and YB is out of town right now. But I got that from a barn find. Right here, I have a, another fox body I bought from an auction. I also bought another fox body, which would be at his shop. We'll go take a look at that later on and check out the Audi and whatever else he's got. Because right now, a little more of like an info, so I want to show you the team stuff. But the Audi's mine, and his red, other red car he has, which is Black Ops, is mine. I just let him drive them. And this is a spare chassis, basically. Or if we were to ever run the car, we can. But me and Paul is going to use that spare chassis because someone's going to hit us, or one of us will wreck. Right here, we have the bu the dream, like the bubble rig, basically. 06, GMC, Sierra. Perfect Dermax. I've already seen this. Let's run over here to the construction shop or the bay. Right here we have the Denali HD, which y'all have seen in a few videos. This is actually what we use for work. We use it to keep rocks, materials, whatever we need. We have this the other Peterbilt, which is more of a heavy duty rig, which we'll be using in the next video because <laughs> we went and dumped some money in there. We got the skid steer, we got the excavator, we don't, we're a small construction shop, y'all. We just, we don't do full on construction, we do like concrete, pipes, clearing land, all that. I had a big dump truck, but we sold that. Right here we have the stacker, which I actually love it here, because it's inside of a nice building, so I don't have to worry about it getting dings up and everything like that. I'll probably actually bring them up. A lot of my other trailers here just because it's real nice out here in the just a good far away but it's nice to have and I lean I, the only trailer we're missing is the 36 foot bumper we have I loaned it out to my buddy and a few other things that I don't I can't think of off the top of the head but with that being said we have whew, we put that again truck bud where, where, where you going you going walking far? around Oh, we leaving? I'm in the truck, man. We're gonna go and back on out of here, y'all. And hmm, probably. I'll put the seatbelt on. There we go. Uh, we'll see the construction shop probably in a few days because we don't work on weekends much. So we're gonna we'll meet you at the. Uh, more of the shop I'm picking it up from. It's not the chassis shop, but we're gonna pick it up. We're gonna go toward picking it up at. Catch you in a minute. Hey right, y'all, we're right around the corner from the shop. It's actually not. It's still at the chassis shop, y'all. I didn't think it was still gonna be the chassis shop. I thought it would be the other shop that was doing some work to it, but they took it back to the chassis shop. Ooh, coming a little too hot, I say, wouldn't you say? Yeah, you gotta slow down a bit there, bud. They got a nice little facility out here, wouldn't you say? It is nice. Let's, let's walk on in here. Oh, I don't see nothing here. Is it the next one? Are you sure it's this shop? Yeah, it might be the next one. Oh, wait, hold on. They're trying to surprise me. You see, they don't want me to see the car, you know? They don't want me to see it. Nope. Definitely other shop. Yeah, I don't think this... This is the chassis shop. I think this is someone's race shop. Well, y'all. Wanna walk in the door? And, in the and here she is, y'all. The new and approved duct tape. We got her original front end back on her. Got some chrome shiny wheels on there. She got some black door. She's got the mirrors on the door. She got one of them big boy wings. She got one of them new wings back here. Carbon 5 of both. Big wing and small wing, new parachute. I've never understood it. Yeah. New parachute, new dash, same steering wheel. Patrick's still uh, there. Patrick ain't going nowhere. New switches, shifters the same, pedals the same. New wiring, Davis, nitrous system. And under the hood, we have, under this hood, we have. We'll look at the wiring in just a second, y'all. Under... Under the wire in here, we have a LS408 mast heads F1 Pro Charger, nitrous assisted, belt driven Pro Charger. 
fans are in the rear. No radiator up here. No intercooler. We are on alcohol for this car, boys. Alcohol's way to go. Got some I think play. meth actually should do meth. We got them gold headed. No, meth is bad, boy. No, not the fucking drug. No, 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 no. So, meth is bad fuel, man. It's good fuel, but like it, it catches fire easier. But here's the wiring, y'all. Let's actually go, go ahead and get the little. Let's get the phone out. We'll get a closer look. Yeah, she looks. She looks professional, y'all. Got the dominant. Got the dominator. Got the fuel pump back here. New battery. Basically, this car is set and ready to go. Got some new rear wheels. Got new front wheels. LED lights. Oh, door shut. Um, got the header gauges. Got the radio in there. Yeah, she is a she is a stout unit, y'all. I guess it's some of the other projects they're working on, y'all. Looks like they got a few asphalt car, late model cars. Like they got a little C8. Like they got a little I Rock here. With a big boy on the box. I think I'm pretty sure this is more like a racing, like a drag car shop than round track. I don't know. They yeah. got a lot of checks up there. You only get. Looks like those are yeah. Dirt racing. They do a lot more dirt racing than drag because these are all drag or dirt racing tracks. Yeah, got there's a couple seater. Look. Yeah. Now let's go ahead and fire her up and get her in the trailer. Or on the trailer, not in the trailer. Ooh. Yeah, we brought a flat deck today. Hey, hop in it for a second. I don't want to move Patrick. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you what, you definitely designed they definitely designed the roll bar better for the driver than the passenger seat. <laughs> Man, she is nice to drive again. She does the ECU that's in her right now is pretty spicy. So she should sleep pretty good. I didn't bring my laptop, so I can't do any changes. Ooh. Ooh, you feel that? She got some power. God, damn. I don't want to do full pool. I just want to feel what she feels like. I haven't had her in forever. I haven't drove it in forever. You've been driving it. Yeah, I have. We'll do a little half lunch. Ooh. Oh. A little fast. Yeah, I might probably uh, calm down on the pulls. I don't think the braking miles are in there yet. Yeah, right here in... Yeah, it's probably a bad idea to do this in front of a fire station, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but we don't care. She, she's got some power now, boys. We're going to take her to the dyno uh, fallout shop. And we, actually, that's where we're going to go. Go to the fallout shop and get this thing dyno, boys. Yeah, I brakes, brakes need a little work. Brakes need a little work, y'all. Where, where's that? I know. Where, where's the button? Where, where? I know there's a button on here. Where's the button at? Where's the button for that? Jesus Christ! I know there has to be a button. Oh, there we go. I found it. It's right. It's on the right side. Right the right You gotta stand on it. You know, one of these things. Once you find it, you're good to go, but finding it, no, ah, I just had it. No, not that one. God, Lee, we're going to be here 15 minutes trying to do this, y'all. Holy. Trying to use this special key, special muscle right here, y'all. Right, I guess we ain't using that muscle, we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way. I had it for a second, but it instantly went back up. Yeah, I know. Ooh, she's. Ooh, we're gonna take the front. Nah, she has. Uh, to no, yeah. she went back up a little bit, actually. Yeah, see. There we go. Oh yeah, you're great. Put her all the way to the front, y'all. We have to go pick up a new vehicle. So, we'll catch you at Fallout Shop because we're not gonna film picking up a new vehicle. So, we'll catch you at Fallout Shop, y'all. Hey, I was just putting a box in here. 
This man right here is gonna wait until we show up to tell me his dino's broken. Explain. Eh, well, it's broken. I've I called the repair guy. He hasn't come out yet, and that was like a week ago. So instead, I kind of put something in the way. So even if he comes, we're kind of screwed. I put yeah, my yes. asphalt car there. Yeah, yeah. See, duct tape look good right here with a big old graph going. Gosh,ly. But y'all, here's Dottie. It has. We have multiple like tires for it. We have a big tire radio for it. Just so we can do more race. This is kind of. This is a full on race car. Full tube chassis. It's big block 632 nitrous assisted. It's a fast looking. It's a fast car. Nah, but I about to say you lost, you lost it. It's got the red. It's got like a little powder coat red to it. Looks pretty good, y'all. Looks pretty good. We should have put the radiator in the back. Did like a little small radiator instead of this big goofy radiator, but it is Probably. what it is. Here we got Black Ops car. I was talking about his twin turbo with nitrous assisted. Pretty good looking car. Um, got basically everything you can name on it. Except yeah. no Patrick. Yeah, Patrick, come on. Mustang, and these two are his, but we were just here for my yeah. things. And, y'all, I went and bought and kind of sold my military truck, because y'all never saw that. Y'all didn't see that this episode. And I went and bought that thing. Which we're actually probably going to go right around a little bit and see if we can get in trouble, because technically this is road, road legal. It has tag, insert, and register. It just got a big boy tire on there. If it's good on there, everything like that, but we have made a bigger purchase for next episode. Next episode will be interesting. It this uh Yeah. I won't better use a trailer for this one, I don't think, because I think I'm gonna have to leave it where I get it. But uh you I've seen them haul it out on a trailer before. You should be well, able to. Well, did I just hear somebody? Do a donut, do a donut. What? Yo, who that there? I didn't invite anybody over. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera away, y'all, and we're gonna go uh -huh. have some fun in the new monster truck, y'all. Okay, we'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys.